What I have here is something I've been running into pretty frequently the past two days. It's an eastern box turtle, and as always, I'll zoom in so you can see it a bit more clearly. So while I'm trying to record this turtle, we have a bunch of deer here. There's a male with uh, some young horns, and he's looking at me, and there's the rest of them. And they've started to make grunting sounds at me. And they're walking away now. I guess they're not really happy I'm sitting in their forest here. So here's the eastern box turtle, Terrapene carolina carolina. It's a subspecies of box turtle. And of course it's found in the eastern United States. It can be found in prairies or forests like this one. And it's a terrestrial turtle, so actually a tortoise. Um, it's not going to really spend a lot of time in the water, pretty much only when it wants to cool off, it'll go into a shallow stream and then come back out. Now in captivity, people might just feed them leafy greens, but in the wild, they're actually omnivores, so they'll eat insects, spiders, snails, earthworms, uh, and mushrooms, as well as wild berries if they can find them, and other leafy greens. And their shell has got a really nice uh, coloration on it and what it, a turtle shell is is actually just a modified skeleton so it's kind of interesting they've got their bones on the outside uh, that top part of it is called a carapace and it's pretty much just a modified uh, spinal cord and then underneath is the plastron which is pretty much just a modified rib cage this eastern box turtle is also pretty unique because unlike other species it can completely close its shell almost 100 percent shut and i was actually waiting half an hour for this guy to come back out because they'll just they have a hinged plastron which is the part underneath so they can actually kind of just clamp their shell almost completely closed and they'll just sit there and they feel threatened now these turtles hibernate in the winter so they can burrow up to two feet deep in the dirt or they'll find some kind of hollow log or even an abandoned uh, burrow from a mammal and they'll just hibernate in that so this species is a little bit threatened because of habitat loss and since it is native to the eastern United States that's a little bit unfortunate because there's a lot of towns and cities and roads and farmland built all over the place so the more the habitat decreases the less space the species has to survive. The pet trade also has a little bit of an impact on the species because some people might want to pick them up and sell them or take them home and keep them as a pet and that's not good for the species either because the more individuals you remove from the wild the less are being born and that's gonna not be good for the long-term survival of the species.